Hey, so uh, in this video, we are going to understand the concept of storage classes and uh, PVCs. So till now, in Kubernetes, uh, Kubernetes storage concepts, uh, we understood volumes and the persistent volumes. In the last video, we ended up uh, stating storage classes for the dynamic provisioning. Uh, so let's understand this concept first. Uh, we were talking about the persistent volume in the last video where we mentioned it can be created statically and dynamically. It's statically created uh, by a cluster administrator or dynamically created by the Kubernetes API server. And it uses storage class to identify what types of storage needs to be created. So see, when we create the persistent volume and when, when, when an administrator creates the PV, it fulfill all those requirements, like whether it's Azure disk, whether it's a, whether it's a, it's a standard SSDs or premium, those kind of stuff. But when it is creating dynamically, these things are mentioned in the storage classes. So storage class uh, will help you identify what type of storage needs to be created. Hence, when you create the storage class object, there are things that we mentioned, right? Like the type, like the tiers, storage tiers, Azure standard SSDs, Azure standard premium, Azure standard storage file share or the premium file share. This is, this is not the only thing. There are also reclaim policies. There are like two kinds of policies. There is, a, there is a default policy, which is delete. And there is a, a policy that you can change when you customize it and make it as retain. When it is default, it means underlying disk or file share, which is created, would get deleted along with the volume, okay? So storage class is a concept which define tiers of storage such as premium and standard along with reclaim policies. There is uh, one more thing which is parameter, but it, you can say where we, where we uh, put the information like premium or manage those kind of stuff. So it's tier reclaim policies, which gives it enormous control over underlying Azure disk or files created as volumes. So uh, that's the concept of storage class, okay? Now let's try to explore uh, PVC, the concept of PVC, the persistent volume claims. So as the name says, uh, it's the claim on the persistent volume. Go with the name, uh, stay with me. We learned the persistent volume, right? We created the volumes. It is not, it's not in uh, uh, used, right? Nobody's using it, but it is there. So in order to use them, we also create the claims and call it persistent volume claims. So it is like you created a claim of five gigs disk of standard SSDs maybe. So as soon as it go out there and check and find a match, it bound with that persistent volume. Okay, so let's, let's understand uh, there are PVs created that we have seen in the previous video statically by cluster admins. Now you can claim those PVs with the help of PVCs, okay? Let's take it further to understand there's a claim uh, of, as I mentioned, like five weeks premium disk, as soon as it find the match, it will bound to it. If there is no uh, match available, there is, uh, there, there is like uh, nothing to bound with. Then remember storage class is your friend. So once an available storage resource has been assigned to the pod uh, requesting storage, persistent volume is bound to persistent volume claim. Persistent volumes are one-to-one uh, -one mapped to the claims, right? Now, if I, if I need to summarize all that in order to connect the dots, so there are like four concepts. We, we started with this uh, uh, community storage. The very first is the volume, which is uh, not persistent as soon as the pod uh, goes, there is no volume. But in persistent volume, we can persist the volume. 
if if pod recreate somewhere else it would still have that volume okay now these are the two basic concept in order to fulfill these things there are storage classes uh, when there is no volumes available kubernetes api can create by themselves but it needs to know what kind of right so storage class provide that information like standard premium uh, whether you want to retain it or you want to uh, uh, delete it and uh, volume claims will help you to hook up with the persistent volume it will help developers to focus on their work and administrators to create those things those volumes which can be utilized by uh pods right so you will understand it better when we start working on the labs from the next video well let's meet in another video with the lab in order to cement the knowledge well thank you for watching and you have a good day